Can you tell me what would happen if the patient had have had indwelling catheters for a long time and then have it removed? Yeah, what would happen? I was asking you. <laughs> Why do you remove an IV from someone? Because they're already done. They don't need it. Well, well what if you, you left that IV on for like a month? Oh, their body, um, their body's gonna like get used to it. That they're like, I don't know. probably. Oh, so there, um, it's risk for like infection. Yeah. Okay. High risk for infection. That's why you always change catheters. Oh, okay. Stab wound with a penrose drain pinned to the side. You want to observe the color, any drainage, the condition of the skin around the incision, and if there's any odor. around 5 15 today i'm going to the hospital to do my patient research so yeah it's gonna be a busy day
two of my class just got done and I'm just waiting till it gets five because I'm going to pick up my friends so that we can go to the hospital together to do another patient research and we're going to have a new patient this week's clinical so I hope I'm going to be able to do more um, skills and physical assessments and everything like that. right now and I'm trying to finish it but I also wanted to show you what we do when we're doing patient research so so we have to do a research of all medical histories of the patient that is pertinent to the admission so say for example the patient had a kidney stones so what is it well a kidney stones are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside by the kidney so what are the signs and symptoms of kidney stones? Uh, the signs and symptoms are severe sharp pain in the side and back or burning sensation while urinating. So other symptoms could be pink, red, or brown urine, cloudy or foul-smelling urine, nausea and vomiting, fevers, and chills if infection is present. And then we have to put um, what will be our nursing assessments when we do the care for the patient so we have to assess the patient urination their frequency their urgency if they're having nocturia and you have to ask the patients if they're feeling dysuria if there's any hematuria urinary incontinent and you have to also inspect the urine for color odor and the volume these are just example of the medical histories that a patient might have but this is not the um, my patient's medical histories and yeah <laughs> to write for more medical diagnoses and I'm just thinking of finishing that since my clinical starts at 3 p.m. tomorrow so I know I'm gonna have half of the day uh, if I want to um, just sleep so I'm just gonna power through this
I was team lead. That was fun. Um, I just want to go home. <laughs> Are we all? I'm in sleep. Me too. But we have to work on our PPCF, which is like a reflection thing. I might just go to bed. <laughs> Tomorrow, right? <laughs> Hi guys, I just got home from an evening clinical shift and I'm so happy to share that I got a free scrub from one of the healthcare aide in my unit. She literally gave me a scrub. So she added some pulvoron. Cookies and cream. Five of them. <laughs> Thank you, Tita. class at 1 p.m. today so I need to go there because she might take some attendance and throughout the day I'm just gonna be studying catching up for the respiratory disorders as well as the neurological disorders because I haven't studied that as well as the pharmacology there's a lot of content we need to know there's a lot of content we need to memorize I'm dreading studying, but I have to study because midterms next week. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just gonna go study and go to class. Friday is really nothing special, like it's just school works. Yeah. 